We shouldn't be out here alone. Why not? If your father... He'll, he'll never know we're gone. But if he finds out... You don't need to be afraid of my father. Yes. We shouldn't go in. Of course we should. Terrifying. With cat's teeth and three eyes. You're not terrifying. You're boring. You don't know what I am. I know you're a witch. And you can see the future. Tell me mine. Everyone wants to know their future. Until they know their future. This is my father's land. My land. Tell me my future or I'll have your two boring eyes gouged out of your head. Blood. Give me a taste. questions you get. You are like the answers. I've been promised to the prince. When will we marry? You'll never wed the prince. You'll wed the king. But I will be queen. Oh, yes. You'll be queen. For a time. Then comes another. Younger. More beautiful to cast you down and take all you hold dear. Will the king and I have children? No. <gasps> the king will have 20 children. And you will have three. That doesn't make sense. Gold will be their crowds. Gold. Their shrouds. Come <laughs> on, we have to go. We have to go. Sassy! Grace, we are honored by your presence. The mourners are waiting. They will keep waiting. I want a moment alone with him. But, Your Grace, many of these lords and ladies have traveled day and night to be here from all seven kingdoms. They will wait.
He never wanted you to be a king's guard, but here you are, protecting his dead body. What he built, it's ours. He built it for us, he meant it for us. They're going to try to take it away, all of it. They? All of them out there are enemies. I'm waiting in line to make sure he's really dead, and as soon as they see the stones on his eyes, they'll set to work on tearing us apart. They have nothing to do with it. The man who murdered our father, he tore us apart. He's the enemy. I've been telling you for years, you've been defending him for this years. This is exactly what they want. And now our father is dead. And that little monster is out there somewhere drawing breath. Did you set him free? Tyrion may be a monster, but at least he killed our father on purpose. You killed him by mistake, by stupidity. You're a man of action, aren't you? When it occurs to you to do something, you do it. Never mind the consequences. Take a look. Look at the consequences. Here they are. He loved you more than anyone in this world. Apologies. I still don't see why I had you stay in this fucking crate once we set sail. I saved your life. If they catch you, they catch me. I cannot say I feel overly guilty about leaving you in that fucking crate. Do you know what it's like? to stuff your shit through one of those air holes? No. I only know what it's like to pick up your shit and throw it overboard. Pentos? The home of my colleague, Illyrio Mapatis, a merchant. He and I met many years ago through mutual friends. A group of people who saw Robert Baratheon for the disaster he was. We tried to do what was best for the realm by supporting a Targaryen restoration. And thus began the chain of mistakes that has led us both here. Things have gotten worse, not better. Westeros needs to be saved from itself. Mm. Much better. My lord? I don't think... I am anymore. A lord. Are you a lord if you kill your father? I don't imagine they revoke your nobility for killing a whore. Must happen all the time. You already drank yourself across the narrow sea. In a box. Why stop now? Because we are talking about the future of our country. 
future is shit. Just like the past. <laughs> Shank. Shank for Gilles. Ta. Ta should leave us. Shank for Shishkosh. Yes, Your Grace. They left it on the body. They've never killed before. It was only a matter of time, Your Grace. Conquerors always meet with resistance. I didn't conquer them. Their own people did. Talielon yet, Shamirosh. Oshiglis. Separ Tolkidosu unagon gerenigon ponte bevruza mosador. He did not risk his life fighting for his freedom so cowards in masks could take it away. And I did not take up residence in this pyramid so I could watch the city below decline into chaos. What was the name of the man you lost? White Rat, Your Grace. I want him buried with honor, publicly, in the Temple of the Graces. The sons of the Harpy will hear that message. Make them very angry. Angry snakes lash out. Makes chopping off their heads that much easier. Find the men who did this and bring them to me. Your Grace. Sunday, he not. I wanted to speak with you. Why do you come? White rat, the unsullied who. I have heard they found his body in a brothel. I have heard that. 
More than one Unsullied has been known to visit Marine's brothels. May I ask you why? Why would an Unsullied go to a brothel? I do not know. I must go. Shield up. It's too heavy. If it wasn't heavy, it wouldn't stop a sword. Now get it up. <laughs> Come. Try it again. Drive at me. Keep your shield up. Or I'll ring your head like a bell. <laughs> Shouldn't you be training too? Well. <laughs> I'm hardly a new recruit. How many brothers can say that they've killed a White Walker and a Fen? I might be the first in history. These men need a firm arms. Always have. They're poachers and thieves. Not soldiers. That one hates me. If Sir Alice has chosen as the new Lord Commander, he hates the wildlings. All the wildlings. Don't let them send us away. It's not a sure thing. So Dennis Malister has commanded the Shadow Tower for 20 years. And people say he's a good man. He's running against Sir Alice. Sam, and... don't let them send us away. I told you. Wherever you go, I go too. You can't leave. They'll execute you. Good, good. Pivot. Don't forget to pivot. Shield up. The king wants a word. Cold, my lady. Never. The Lord's fire lives within me, John Snow. Feel. Are you a virgin? No. Good. Bolton. Mm. The traitor who plunged a dagger in Rob Stark's heart. Don't you want to avenge him? I want a great many things, Your Grace. But I'm a sworn brother of the Night's Watch now. I've been talking to your sworn brothers. Many of them love you. They're good men. Many don't. I was seen taking the body of a wildling girl north of the wall. Why? It's where she belonged. Some of the Night's Watch feel you have too much affection for the wildlings. They were born on the wrong side of the wall. It doesn't make them monsters. No matter. I shall take back the north from the thieves who stole it. The time when Lannister is dead, he can't protect them now. I shall mount Roose Bolton's head on a spike. But if I'm to take Winterfell, I need more men. The men of the Night's Watch are sworn to play no part. I'm talking about the damn Night's Watch. I'm talking about the wildlings. Grace, you want the wildlings to march in your army? They swear to follow me, I'll pardon them. 
We'll take Winterfell once the North is won. I'll declare them citizens of the realm. I'll give them land to live on. It's a fair offer. More than fair. I'll offer them their lives and their freedom. If Mance kneels before me and swears his loyalty. I don't think that's likely. You admire him, don't you? I respect him. He likes you. Convince him to bend the knee. Grace. Or he burns. How much time do I have? Nightfall. Sun drops fast this time of year. Hurry, Jon Snow. Shield up. Attack, my lord. Attack. Don't cross your feet. My sons have swords in their hands for the time they could walk. This one? Lord Aaron will never be a great warrior. Great warrior? He swings a sword like a girl with palsy. My lord. Sword up, my lord. Some boys develop more slowly. He's still young. He's 13. Boys go to war at 13. He has other gifts. Does he? The gift of a great name. Sometimes, that's all one needs. <coughs> Goodbye, Lord Wilson. Thank you for all you've done for me. I have done nothing more than my duty, my lady. I have no doubt that on my return, Robin's skills will have improved immeasurably. He'll be safe here. As for his skills, I make no promises. Well, we had north at some point. He said Sansa had a brother at Castle Black. Well, a few days' ride from the King's Road. That'll take us... Us? Oh. The only reason you're here is because Jamie Lannister told me you weren't safe in the capital. You're hundreds of miles from King's Landing. No one knows what you look like. No one cares. You're safe. But I'm your squire. Do you even know what a squire is? An attendant to a knight? I'm not a knight. That means you're not a squire. Well, where would I go? I don't care. I'm not your mother. You swore to find the Stark girls. I found Arya. She didn't want my protection. Sons are still mine. Will you shut your mouth? I didn't ask for your advice. I don't want anyone following me. I'm not a leader. All I ever wanted was to fight for a lord I believed in. The good lords are dead and the rest are monsters. I told Lord Royce we were going to the Fingers. I did. But we're heading west. We are. If you wanted to betray us, you already would have. Lord Royce might be as honorable as he thinks he is, but he's not alone in that castle. Do you trust all those knights and ladies, stable boys and serving girls? No. Do you trust the carriage driver or the knights escorting us? No. <laughs> but I pay them well. We've seen what happens to men who disappoint me. So where are we going? To a land where you trust everyone? To a land so far from here, even Cersei Lannister can't get her hands on you. It was such a deep, deep shock to us all. Your father was a... A force to be reckoned with. He truly was. I wouldn't presume to, to claim to have known him as such, but, but just being in his presence was enough to make it so clear just how formidable a person you were dealing with. What a, what a force to be reckoned with. Thank you so much for your kind words. Uh, deepest condolences, Your Grace. This tragedy. I never trusted Varys. I often warn.
Your Grace. Cousin Lancel, I hardly recognized you. My deepest sympathies. I apologize for my son's appearance. Uncle, that's quite all right. They call themselves sparrows, bloody fanatics. Religion has its place, of course, but at a certain point. They never would have come to the capital when Tywin was alive. Sure, he'll grow out of it, whatever it is. Excuse me. Of course. Your wounds from the Blackwater seem to have healed. It wasn't my wounds that needed healing. What can I do for you? You can forgive me. What could you possibly have done to warrant my forgiveness? I led you into the darkness. I doubt you've ever led anyone anywhere. I tempted you into our unnatural relations. And, of course, there was the king. His boar hunt. His wine. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a different person now. I found peace in the light of the Seven. You can too. They watch over all of us, ready to dole out mercy or justice. Their world is at hand. I will pray for your father's soul. <laughs> the day Tywin Lannister's soul needs your help. It looks like dawn. It doesn't. <laughs> it does. That's the... Uh... That's the sun spear bit right there. Mm. And that's where the mountains are. And over here is... is... Sun snake? Stone spear? Sandstone. Yes. Yes, sandstone. Just there. Fine. It's dawn. We should go there. I think we would have a lovely time, mm. judging by my experience. That would be wonderful. Dawn, High Garden, <laughs> anywhere but here. We're late for dinner as it is. <sighs> You're very respectful. I'm very hungry. What's your name? Oliver, my lady. I'm afraid my brother is keeping the king waiting, Oliver. My lady. Perhaps you might consider being a bit more discreet? Why? They all know about me anyway. Everybody knows everything about everyone. What's the point in trying to keep a secret in a place like this? In any event, you shouldn't keep your intended waiting. <laughs> My intended? Please, Tywin's dead. That means no one can force Cersei to marry me. Lucky you. Unlucky you. You think I want that woman married to my brother? If she doesn't marry me, she doesn't go to Highgarden, which means she stays in King's Landing, which means you're trapped here with Cersei Lannister as your mother by law. Perhaps. 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 
Eunuch, the spider, the master of whispers. Imp, half man. There are faster ways to kill yourself. Not for a coward. You are many things, my friend, but not a coward. You never told me why you set me free. Your brother asked me to. Would have said no. <laughs> Refuse the Kingslayer a dangerous proposition. Not as dangerous as releasing me. You risked your life, your position, everything. Why? You're, you're not family. You owe me nothing. I didn't do it for you. I did it for the Seven Kingdoms. A drunken dwarf will never be the savior of the Seven Kingdoms. I don't believe in saviors. I believe men of talent have a part to play in the war to come. Going to have to find another soldier. Done with Westeros, and Westeros is done with me. You have many admirable qualities. Self-pity is not one of them. Any fool with a bit of luck can find himself born into power. But earning it for yourself, that takes work. Not well suited for work. I think you are. You have your father's instincts for politics, and you have compassion. Compassion, yes. I killed my lover with my bare hands. I shot my own father with a crossbow. I never said you were perfect. What is it you want, exactly? Peace. Prosperity. A land where the powerful do not prey on the powerless. Where the castles are made of gingerbread and the moats are filled with blackberry wine. The powerful have always preyed on the powerless. That's how they became powerful in the first place. Perhaps. And perhaps we've grown so used to horror, we assume there's no other way. If you sat on the Iron Throne, would you spread misery throughout the land? I will never sit on the Iron Throne. No, you won't. But you could help another climb those steps and take that seat. The Seven Kingdoms need someone stronger than Tommen, but gentler than Stannis. A monarch who can intimidate the High Lords and inspire the people. A ruler loved by millions with a powerful army and the right family name. Good luck finding him. Who said anything about him? You have a choice, my friend. You can stay here at Illyrio's palace and drink yourself to death. Or you can ride with me to Marine, meet Daenerys Targaryen, and decide if the world is worth fighting for. Can I drink myself to death on the road to Marine? When did the Unsullied start patrolling the streets of Marine? Looks like your friends haven't been behaving themselves. Our mission to Yunkai was a resounding success. The wise masters of Yunkai have agreed to cede power to a council of elders made up of both the freedmen and the former slaveholders. All matters of consequence will be brought to you for review. Good. They did ask for some concessions. Concessions? Politics is the art of compromise, Your Grace. I'm not a politician. I'm a queen. Forgive me. You're right, of course. Still, it's easier to rule happy subjects than angry ones. I don't expect the wise masters to be happy. Slavery made them rich. I ended slavery. They do not ask for the return of slavery. They ask for the reopening of the fighting pits. The fighting pits? Where slaves fought slaves to the death? In the new world that you've brought to us, free men would fight free men. The pit fighters you liberated plead for this opportunity. Bring some here and ask them yourself. No fighting pits. Opening them would show the people of Yunkai and Meereen that you respect their traditions. I do not respect the tradition of human cockfighting. If you could How only... many times must I say no before you understand? Whatever he wants from me, he's not going to get it. If he really believes I'm going to reopen the fighting pits... You should reopen the fighting pits. What? My mother was a whore. I told you that. She liked to drink a pair of brandy. The older she got, the less she made selling her body, the more she wanted to drink. So 
One day when I was 12, she sold me to the slaver she fucked the night before. I'm sorry. Why? I was a bad child. I wasn't big, but I was quick. And I loved to fight. So they sold me to a man in Tolos who trained fighters for the pits. I had my first match when I was 16. You were sold into slavery, forced to fight to the death for the amusement of the masters, and you're defending the fighting pits. <laughs> I'm only here because of those pits. I learned to fight like a Dothraki screamer, a Norvoshi priest, a Westerosi knight. Soon I was famous. 10,000 men and women screamed my name when I stepped into the pit. I made so much money for my master. He set me free when he died. I joined the Second Sons, and then I met you. You're the queen. Everyone's too afraid of you to speak truth. Everyone but me. You've made thousands of enemies all across the world. As soon as they see weakness, they'll attack. Show your strength here, now. That's why I have the Unsullied patrolling the streets. <laughs> Anyone with a chest full of gold can buy an army of Unsullied. You're not the mother of Unsullied. The mother of dragons. I don't want another child's bones dropped at my feet. No one's seen Drogon in weeks. For all I know, he's flown halfway across the world. I can't control them anymore. A dragon queen with no dragons? It's not a queen. Viserion? Rhaegal? So here we are. Here we are. When we first met, you were my prisoner. And now, for our last meeting. This doesn't have to be our last meeting. No, but it will be. You know what Stannis wants? He wants me to bend the knee. And he wants the free folk to fight for him. I'll give him this much. He's bold. Shouldn't the king be bold? No, oh, I. I respect him. If he gets what he wants, I expect he'll be a better ruler than the fools sitting on the Iron Throne the last hundred years. But I'll never serve him. 
He told me you weren't here to conquer. You told me your people have bled enough. That's right. I don't want them bleeding for Stannis Baratheon either. You spent your life convincing 90 clans to come together for the first time in history. Thens and Hornfoots, the Ice River clans, even the giants. A life's work uniting them. You didn't do it for power. You didn't do it for glory. You brought them together to save them because none of them have survived the winter, not if they're north of the wall. Isn't their survival more important than your pride? Pride? Fuck my pride. This isn't about that. Then bend the knee and save your people. They followed me because they respected me. Because they believed in me. The moment I kneel for a southern king, that's all gone. And how many tens of thousands are out there right now? How many women? How many children? And you won't go out and rescue them because why? You're afraid of looking afraid. Oh, I am afraid. No shame in that. How will they do it? Beheading? Hanging? They'll burn you alive. Bad way to go. I'll be honest with you. I don't want to die. I'm burned to death. I don't want people to remember me like that, scorched and screaming. But it's better than betraying everything I believe. And what happens to your people? You preserve your dignity and die standing. And they'll sing songs about you. He'd rather burn than kneel, the great hero. Until winter comes, and the White Walkers come for us all, and there's no one left to sing. You're a good lad. Truly, you are. But if you can't understand why I won't enlist my people in a foreigner's war, there's no point explaining. I think you're making a terrible mistake. <laughs> the freedom to make my own mistakes was all I ever wanted. Lance Raider, you have been called the king beyond the war. Westeros only has one king. Bend the knee, I promise you mercy. Kneel and live. This was my home for many years. I wish you good fortune in the wars to come.
We all must choose. Man or woman, young or old, lord or peasant, our choices are the same. We choose light or we choose darkness. We choose good or we choose evil. We choose the true God or the false. Folk. There is only one true king, and his name is Stannis. Here stands your king of lies. Behold the fate of those who choose the darkness. Times whenever Bravo stood in danger, the Titan would step with fire in his eyes. He'd wade into the sea and smash the enemies. This is the statue. <laughs> Don't be afraid. He's announcing our arrival. I'm not afraid. Black and white. This is where you'll find the man you seek. Here, yeah, I leave you. Thank you for bringing me. Any man of Bravos would have done the same. If 
Fala, meu burro. Fala, Tahiris. Hello. Fala Mogules. <clears throat> Jack and Hagar gave me this. No one here by that name. Please. Across the narrow sea. I have nowhere else to go. You have everywhere else to go. But wait! Cersei. Walder Frey, the mountain, Merentrant, Cersei, Walder Frey, the mountain, Merentrant, Cersei, Walder Frey, the mountain, Merentrant, Cersei. Walder Frey, the mountain, Marin Trout, Cersei, Walder Frey, the mountain, Marin Trout. Must be good food if it's crowded. After Maester gave you a raven scroll. You are becoming an observant young lady. My mother used to say, dark wings, dark words. An old saying. Inaccurate in this case. Excuse me. So it was good news. My marriage proposal has been accepted. I thought you still mourned the death of my beloved Aunt Lysa. Ale? Hey. I'll have some. Lady. What is it? Sansa Stark. Don't look. You sure? She's dyed her hair, but it's her. She's sitting with Peter Baelish. Little finger. A bunch of knights with him. Bunch? What's a bunch? Patrick, six, twenty? Ten, I think. Too many. My lady, I don't think this is the right Ready place. Ready the horses. We only have one horse. Find more. You like to taste. Don't see what all the fuss is about. Why do men love it so much? It gives some men courage. Does it give you courage? That's fair enough. Lord Baelish, Lady Sansa, my name is Brienne of Tarth. We've met with Renly Baratheon. What did he say about you? He said, your loyalty came free of charge. Someone appears to have paid quite a bit for it since then.
Lady Sansa, before your mother's death, I was her sworn sword. I gave my word I would find you and protect you. I will shield your back and keep your counsel and give my life for yours if need be. I swear it by the old gods and the new. Please, Lady Brienne, no need for such formality. You were Catelyn Stark's sworn sword. I was. Strange. I knew Cat from the time we were children. She never mentioned you. It was after Renly's murder. Ah, yes. You were accused of killing him. I tried to save him. But you were accused? By men who didn't see what happened. And what did happen? He was murdered by a shadow. A shadow with the face of Stannis Baratheon. A shadow? With the face? <sighs> this woman swore to protect Renly. She failed. She swore to protect your mother. She failed. Why would I want somebody with your history of failure guarding Lady Sansa? Why should you have any say in her affairs? Because I am her uncle. I married her Aunt Lysa shortly before my beloved's untimely death. We're family now, and you are an outsider. Forgive me, Lady Brienne, but experience has made me wary of outsiders. Lady Sansa, if we can have a word alone. No. Please, my lady, if I could explain. I saw you at Joffrey's wedding, bowing to the king. Neither of us wanted to be there. Sometimes we don't have a choice. And sometimes we do. You should leave. We don't want our new friend wandering the countryside alone. The roads in these parts aren't safe. Why don't you stay? The man asked you to say so. Yes, that means you're unarmed. Down, Padraig, down! Padraig? Yes, my lady. You can stand now. Yes, my lady. Signs are stark. Wary of strangers as you should be. I saw her riding on the east road with Littlefinger. We'll follow them. My lady, if both Stark girls refused your service, maybe you're released from your vow. 
I swore to their mother I would protect those girls. But if they don't want your protection... Do you think she's safe with Littlefinger? Oh, my lady. Get your horse. Summons from the Queen. There are only two like it in the world. The one I'm wearing, the one I gave to myself. It's a threat. Of course it's a threat. Our daughter's alone in dawn, surrounded by people who hate our family. It's a threat. No note? They blame us for the death of Oberyn and his sister, and every other tragedy that's befallen their cursed country. I will burn their cities to the ground if they touch her! Softer. What? Not so loud. Our daughter's in danger, and you're worried I'm speaking too loudly. The world can't know she's our daughter. Then don't call her your daughter. You've never been a father to her. If I was a father to any of my children, they'd be stoned in the streets. And what was your caution brought? Our eldest child murdered at his own wedding. Our only daughter shipped off to dawn. Our baby boy is set to marry that smirking whore from Highgarden. I'm going to make things better. You've never made anything better. I'm going to Dawn, and I'm bringing our daughter home. You can't just ask Prince Duran to give her back. She's promised to his son. I'm not going to ask him anything. You go down there with an army, it's an act of war. No army. Do you know where they're keeping her? Oberyn mentioned the water gardens. I'll find her. Is there anything else, Your Grace? You're going to dawn. A one-handed man. Alone. I never said I was going alone. No sunflowers. I don't like yellow. Roses are very nice, definitely roses. And music, I adore music, but no flutes. I hate flutes. We can have a harp if you like, but no flutes. Then there's the food. Food is the most important thing, don't you agree? We're going to need pigeon pies. That's what they eat in the capital, don't they? Don't they? Don't who? People eat pigeon pie in the capital. They certainly do, my dear. They certainly do. It's a fine place, isn't it? A fine place. I never thought I'd end up settling down in a place like this. You won't. Pardon? We won't get to live at Stokeworth. When Mother dies, my sister gets the castle because she's older. She hates me. She calls me mean names, and sometimes, even still, she pulls my hair when Mother's not looking. You know what I think? I think you're a good person. And your sister is a mean person. She is. I've been all over the world. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that meanness comes around. People like your sister, they always get what's coming to them, eventually. One way or another. Who's that? Jamie fucking Lannister. Jamie? It's the Bron of the Blackwater. I was very sorry to hear about your father. Thank you. This is my betrothed, Lollis. A pleasure. Run along, love. Beautiful young bride you've chosen. When were you planning on getting married? Just get on with it. On with what? What you're here for. There's no way this little visit could possibly mean anything good for me. It's very good for you.
Wallace will be marrying Sir Willis Brack. Hmm. He made a deal, your sister and I. I would have advised against that. How is this good for me? Because you're going to come with me and help me with something important. And when we return, I'm going to give you a much better girl and a much better castle. Return from where? As far south as south goes. yourself from my path or I'll take that long axe and I'll shove Captain. it at him. Let her pass. Your brother was murdered. And you sit here in the water gardens staring at the sky and doing nothing. Oberyn was slain during a trial by combat by law that is no murder. Your brother. You don't have to remind me. He was my brother long before he was anything to you. What will you do about his death? I will bury him. I will mourn for him. And then? You would have me go to war. The whole country would have you go to war. Then we are lucky the whole country does not decide. The Sand Snakes are with me. They have the love of their people. They will avenge their father while you sit here in your chair doing nothing. Oberyn is dead. These Lannister girls skips about the water gardens, eating our food, breathing our air. How many of your brothers and sisters do they have to kill? Let me have her. Let me send her to Cersei, one finger at a time. I loved my brother, and you made him very happy. For that, you will always have a place in my heart. We do not mutilate little girls for vengeance. Not here. Not while I rule. And how long will that be? The Unsullied are too conspicuous. Anyone can see you coming from a mile off. Of course you haven't found any sons of the harpy. You haven't, have you? Yeah. My second sons, on the other hand, they drink, they whore, they fight in the streets. They blend in. They overhear things in taverns. Follow people from the taverns to nice, quiet alleys. Break a few fingers, overhear a few more things, before you know it. No one here. We go. In a hurry? You're afraid? Unsullied, fear nothing. Right. Well, that's your problem. You understood fear once long ago, but you've forgotten what it means. Someone who has forgotten fear has forgotten how to hide. Fear is useful that way. Sons of the Harpy, they want to put a collar back on my neck. On all of our necks, please, Your Grace. You must kill him. It would send a message. 
I think you should exercise restraint, Your Grace. Why? For one thing, he may have valuable information. Well, the son of the harpy has no more valuable information. How do you know that? Because I questioned him. And the information you did get, he is young and poor. He is born free. Why should he want to bring back slavery? What did it do for him? Perhaps the only thing that gave him pride was knowing that there was someone lower than he was. They pay him. Great families are afraid to do a thing. They pay poor men to do it for and them. And how do you know this? Everyone know this. I don't know it. And I'm the head of a great family. We do not know what this man did or didn't do. Give him a trial, at least. A fair trial. Show all the citizens of Marine that you are better than those who would depose you. Teach them a better way. I do not know the place from where old sir comes. Things maybe are different there, I hope. But here, in Marine, before Dianeris Stormborn, they own us. So we learn much about them, or we do not live long. They teach me what they are. Mercy, fair trial. These mean nothing to them. All they understand is blood. Thank you all for your counsel. Your Grace, a word, please, I beg you. About what? About your father. About the Mad King. The Mad King? You're here to remind me of my enemy's lies? Consider me reminded. Your Grace. I served in his King's Guard. I was at his side from the first. Your enemies did not lie. Go on. When the people rose in revolt against him, your father set their towns and castles aflame. He murdered sons in front of their fathers. He burnt men alive with wildfire and laughed as they screamed. And his efforts to stamp out dissent led to a rebellion that killed every Targaryen, except two. I'm not my father. No, Your Grace. Thank the gods. But the Mad King gave his enemies the justice he thought they deserved. And each time, it made him feel powerful and right. Until the very end. I will not have the son of the harpy executed without a fair trial. There's a bug. Yes, best be careful. You might accidentally consume some solid food. When I agreed to come with you, did I misrepresent my intentions? Besides, what else is there for me to do inside this fucking box? You don't like it? I want to take a walk. You can't. Cersei has offered a lordship to the man who brings her your head. She ought to offer her cunt. Best part of her for the best part of me. Well, I suppose a box is as good a place for me as anywhere. Are we really going to spend the entire road to Volantis talking about the futility of everything? You're right, no point. The road to Volantis. You said we were going to Marine. What's in Volantis? The road to Marine. And what do you hope to find at the end of the road to Marine? I told you, a ruler. We've already got a ruler. Everywhere has already got a ruler. Every pile of shit on the side of every road has someone's banner hanging from it. You were quite good, you know, at ruling during your brief tenure as hand. I didn't rule, I was a servant. Still, a man of talent. Managed to kill a lot of people? Yes, but you showed great promise in other areas as well. She wanted me to leave King's Landing. She begged me. I wouldn't go. Why? Because I liked it. Power. Even as a servant. People follow leaders. And they will never follow us. They find us repulsive. I find us repulsive. And we find them repulsive, which is why we surround ourselves with large, comfortable boxes to keep them away. And yet, no matter what we do, people like you and me are never really satisfied inside the box. Not for long. You're right. 
Let's go for a walk. No. How many dwarves are there in the world? Is that they're going to kill them all? Not him. Are you trying to deceive your queen? Shall I throw him in a cell, your grace? It won't be necessary, Simone. I don't want to dissuade the other hunters. Mistakes will be made. Thank you, your grace. Thank you, your Thank grace. You. Take the head. Pardon me, your grace. I would take it, if you don't mind. It could prove useful for my work. Very good. Over there, we'll be fine. You heard the man. Over there. You're the hand of the king. No, uncle. Clearly, it would not be appropriate for a woman to assume that role. I'm merely advising my son until he comes of age and chooses a hand for himself. Your grace, I would be willing to serve provisionally as the king's hand until he becomes You're old enough to make... You're a good man, Lord Tyrell, but I don't imagine you'll have the time. In addition to being master of ships, the king has appointed you master of coin. Oh, your grace. He called your experience and wisdom in financial matters unparalleled. He said he would be honored to have you represent the Crown's interests in the same. The honor is all mine, your grace. Your grace, in the past, on several occasions, a Grand Maester has served as the King's hand. The King uh, is named Kyburn, the new Master of Whisperers. Your grace, him? This, this man? This embarrassment to the Citadel? Your Grace, what qualifications can he possibly have for this post? The qualification of loyalty, Grand Maester. That's far more than the eunuch ever had. Far more than many ever have. I must say, I cannot Uncle see Kevin, how... In light of your position as commander of the Lannister armies, it would please the King if you would serve as his master of war. No man living better deserves the title. That is kind of you to say. I would like to hear it from the king himself. But the king is very busy at this moment. He should be here, learning what it means to rule. He is learning. On this occasion, in his capacity as ruler, he's asked me to speak on his behalf. I return to the capital to pay my respects to my brother, and to you, and to serve the king. I did not return to the capital to serve as your puppet, to watch you stack the small council with sycophants. Sending your own brother away so he won't My be present. My brother has left the capital to lead a sensitive diplomatic mission. What mission? That is not your concern as master of war. I do not recognize your authority to dictate what is and is not my concern. You are the Queen Mother. Nothing more. You would abandon your king in his time of need. If he wants to send for me, I will be waiting for him at Casterly Rock. Come on. You know this one. Looks like an animal. Snake. Snake. S. It's an S. Right. Very good. Did you know that the youngest Lord Commander in history, Osric Stark, was elected at the age of ten? I know S. You'll learn, I promise. I taught Sir Davos and all people are terrible at learning new things. Well, you're a wonderful teacher. Very patient. I only said that the more time that you spend practicing, the faster you'll be able to read. That's all right. We're doing just fine. I'm sure you and Ostrich Stark have a lot to talk about. How old were you when you learned how to read? Three. Three? Who taught you? Your mother? No. Old Maester Crescent did. I had a lot of time to practice. My mother kept me inside because... What do you call it in the south? What happened to your face? Grayscale. What do you call it north of the wall? I don't know. 
But two of my sisters had it. They both died. How did they kill you? I don't remember. I was a baby. A lot of people came and tried, I think. Whatever they did, it went away. What happened to your sisters? My father made them move out of the keep into the hut outside. None of us were allowed to go near them, but we heard them, especially at night. They started to sound not like themselves. Did you ever see them? Only once at the end. They were covered with it. Their faces, their arms. They acted like animals. My father had to drag them out to the woods on a rope. What did he do with them in the woods? Mother. Leave us. Your Grace. You need to stay away from that girl. Why? She's a wildling. Her name's Gilly. She's nice. I'm teaching her how to read. She's a wildling. Your father defeated her people. He executed their king for treason. They could strike at him by striking at you. Gilly wouldn't do that. You have no idea what people will do. All your books and you still don't know. I ordered Mance Ray to burn at the stake. You prevented that order from being carried out. You showed mercy to Mance Raider. The King's word is law. Perhaps you should ask Sir Davos how much mercy I show to lawbreakers. Show too much kindness, people won't fear you. If they don't fear you, they don't follow you. With respect, Your Grace, the free folk will never follow you, no matter what you do. You're the man who burned their king alive. Who then? You? No. Only one of their own. Do you know this wretched girl? Lyanna Mormont. The Lord Commander's niece. Lady of Bear Island. And a child of ten. I asked her to commit her house to my cause. That's her response. Bear Island knows no king but the king in the north, whose name is Stark. That amuses you. Apologize, Your Grace. Northerners can be a bit like the free folk. Loyal to their own. I know. My brother Robert went on often and loudly about how difficult it was to control them. Even with your father's help. Tonight, the Night's Watch elects a new Lord Commander. Sir Alice of Thorne is going to win. Most likely. Unpleasant man. He thinks you're a traitor. What's your life going to be like here at the wall with Thorne in command? Unpleasant, I expect. Your bravery made him look weak. He'll punish you for it. I don't punish men for bravery. I reward them. I don't doubt it, Your Grace. But I'm a brother of the Night's Watch. I pledge them my life, my honor, my sword. I don't know what I have left to give you. You can give me the North. I can't. Even if I wanted to, I'm a bastard. A snow. Kneel before me. Lay your sword at my feet. Pledge me your service and you'll rise again as John Stark, Lord of Winterfell. I'll make you a Stark with the stroke of a pen. It's the first thing I ever remember wanting. I daydream that my father would ask the king. And just like that, I would never be the bastard of Winterfell again. Oh, you deserve this. You do. I, I couldn't be happier for you. I'm going to refuse him. But you'd be Lord of Winterfell. I swore a vow to the Night's Watch. If I don't take my own words seriously, what sort of Lord of Winterfell would I be? Crowded. You'd think we were serving venison stew. <laughs> <clears throat> Does anyone wish to speak for candidates? Before we cast our tokens, 
for the 998th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Sir Alistair Thorne is not just a knight, he's a man of true nobility. He was acting commander when the war came under attack and led us to victory against the wildlings. He's a veteran of a hundred battles and has been a defender of the watch and the wall almost all of his life. He's the only true choice. Yes. Yes. Sir Dennis Malister joined the watch as a boy and has served loyally longer than any other ranger. Through ten winters he served. As commander of the Shadow Tower, he kept the wildlings away. We could do no better. If there is no one else, we will begin the voting. The triangular tokens count for Sir Alistair Thorne. The square tokens for Sir Dennis Marister. Each Mr. Raymond. Samuel Tarley, go on. Sam the Slayer. <laughs> Another wildling lover, just like his friend Jon Snow. How's your lady love, Slayer? <laughs> her name is Gilly. Brother Slint knows her quite well. They cowered together in the larder during the battle for the wall. Lies! A wildling girl, a baby, and Lord Janus. I found him there after the battle was over, in a puddle of his own making. <laughs> Whilst Lord Janus was hiding with the women and children, Jon Snow was leading. Sir Alistair fought bravely, it is true. And when he was wounded, it was Jon who saved us. He took charge of the wall's defence. He killed the Magna of the Thens. He went north to deal with Mance Raider, no one who almost certainly meant his own death. Before that, he led the mission to avenge Lord Commander Mormont. Mormont himself chose John to be his steward. He saw something in John, and now we've all seen it too. He may be young, but he's the commander we turn to when the night was darkest. Yeah! I uh, can't argue with any of that. But who does Jon Snow want to command? Night's Watch? Or the Wildlings? Everyone knows he loved a wildling girl. He spoke with Mance Raider many times. What would have happened in that tent between those two old friends if Stannis' army hadn't come along? We all saw him put the king beyond the wall out of his misery. Do you want to choose a man who has fought the wildlings all his life? Or a man who makes love to them? It is time.
You. You. What have you got there? <laughs> I said. Turn around and go. Turn around and go. That's a nice little sword. Worth a hundred pigeons a sword like that. Nothing's worth anything to dead men. Come on. Quickly, go, go! Who are you? Why were they scared of you? You lost this. You said there was no Jack and Hagar here. There isn't. A man is not Jack and Hagar. Well, who are you then? No one. And that is who a girl must become. Why? Ashay, Misa. He will sky a yaz dang mulilash. He will want to shell his shesh perfilma. A chatang yasharua. Shay ala chat. Ivas gutori ives. Idrenejum bare. Drivi mi jeta. Mel prisha shisha ochni escoreshis. Fus dal crotching wechi. Fus dar hisir lucias costaur. Aix dar hisir lucias hostaur. She spal shemash pa canvas. Spal ni was pa proke shil se shinashwa aaj. Eska togo nodo maji dashwa yev. Ni e kel kurong ni e zanja yamel. O da vang shileri ni e chas ni e kiveska. Kwe yang i askis ka cheta se fiwa tresoje. Ni e kiv muli las. Eska os wili wilos. Rorushis patres es pa yas dang yel tu jeva wapa filma. Kio tashtol? Guragon jas dano glaison a ochoni sostaur. Ziri aixia vitri iris. Shishilolska ye vitril. Vitri, vitri isa. Siri andros. I keep telling her to do to you. Kiviso dairi drievi melux vestretan. Sepa jevi remi. 
i në të dranje dhe atë. Gjahe e danje me gjere o tolion, zekon kostos të au. Misa, kollo, ingelere. Mërino pas tjedere në gjumbiles, se bisa vala zirio sentas, kilonarion morhon isa. Sam God outside your door tonight, Your Grace. You all got tonight. Leave me. Dragon. 